Let's go. Okay, here we are. Normally outrageous Sarasota Bookstore One. Sarasota, moving soon. We moving can't wait. Soon. We don't have a date yet, but we're moving soon. Normally outrageous. Sometimes we have to hit pause for our customers, <laughs> but we love them. But doing our actual job? Yes, what? we do. A crazy concept. All right, we're going to talk about um, the ast astrological signs. And because if we've ever had this is a change. not a podcast about reading. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll sneak that in. <laughs> but wait. The question is, have you ever had a change of heart about a certain zodiac sign or met someone who doesn't fit the mold of the previous thought you had about that sign? Mia. You want me to start? Yeah. I actually have a couple. Okay. Um, I used to really dislike Geminis, especially Gemini women. But I've come to learn that it's just that, like, I need to realize that when I'm speaking to them, I'm just an audience member to whatever's <laughs> going on in their head. Because their signs are a bit... Yes. So... I've grown to really like Gemini women because they're just fun and they're sweet. And also, Leos. I've spent more time with like actually getting to know like the people in my theater department. And they're not as, I mean, they're obviously like self absorbed to an extent, but they're still very, very like, they're very like, they're just fun. Mm -hmm. Like, they're fun people. On a deeper level, I don't really know about that. <laughs> Okay, well, piggy tail up your cancer, or your Gemini take, because I've changed my mind about Geminis. Like you, I have a couple people that are Gemini, just talk, 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 talk. You're a sounding board, like you said. Yeah, so I'm just, just here, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of fun. I could be dying of cancer, they would not know, because they're talking about their own lives. <laughs> or not even their own lives, they just like have like, they'll be like, oh, and this, and this, right. and this. But I've met three cancers. Katya is one, our assistant manager here. No, she's, she's a Gemini. She's a Gemini. She's a cancer. I keep saying cancer. I'm sorry. <laughs> Gemini's. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? So anyway, um, Katya is an angel, and I think it's because she's a May Gemini. But she also, oh, the Geminis are very different. And Vincent, who also works here, angel. May Gemini? May Gemini. Oh. May Geminis are very different. They're very, they're very, very like to themselves almost yes because they're like just on that like cusp of taurus yeah but also fancy has a virgo something and I've, i think think that shows a lot more than yeah. her gemini and then she looks like a gemini and the second date i have monday is with a 6-1 who's close to may obviously because it's june 1st yeah and he seems to be less talky talky and into him yeah i mean there's other things that contribute to it but you're compatible yeah. with gemini yeah Prior. okay i'm tech i'm not so, in other words, in conclusion, um, I think there's hope for Gemini's. Yeah. Yes. I've actually changed my mind in the opposite direction about Taurians, or however the heck you say it. Okay. <laughs> Men. I thought I liked all of them. Every single Taurus male screwed me over a million times over, and I'm tired of it. Everybody thinks the water signs are the master manipulators, but have you ever met a Taurus man? I have actually met a Taurus man, and I there was some ice there. Right? They're like... <laughs> yeah, there was ice. They like, have like a facade that they put up. Yes. And, then like, and they can be... They find out they're freaking crazy. Right. <laughs> they are endearing on the way in and cold on the way out. Right, exactly. <laughs> All right, we do agree on that. Yeah. Yes. I like, I like Sagittarians a lot. They're my favorite fire sign. And I think generally I like most signs. I like how passionate cancer men are, and I mean cancer this I time. Met, I only have but like sometimes one cancer they're overly. Man. I've only met one cancer man. Well, let me ask you this: in your theater experience, are a lot of them Leos in? A lot of them are Leos. Cancers too. I've only met a couple. Okay, Sagittarian cancers in there. Seems like there's a lot of Sagittarian actors, like famous. I don't. I only you know about the Leos because you know the Leos like they yes, stand out. Yeah, hams. So yeah, like my theater director is a Leo. Her son, who's like very loud and flamboyant, he's a Leo. And I think his sister, who's very quiet to herself, is a Pisces. And like you can like see like the stark difference in their behaviors because right. they're like little theater people. <laughs> or at least that's what we think we were talking yeah, about. We got it's been an hour. <laughs> yeah, yeah, at least. Um. Yeah. Most of them are. Or not most, but like you, you just know who's a Leo and who's not. I know one. I only know one Cancer aside from myself. It's a lot of Leo energy, though. Mm -hmm. I will say, mm -hmm. I got a lot of Leo in my chart. Yeah. Well, my son's a Cancer, and he was a musical theater major. And then Barry, who worked here, was a huge movie buff and was also on a TV show once. Hello. Hello. We're about to now air. Okay, we're 
nice. I saw you fake that last time. No, it's, it's gone. gone. It's not gone. Wait, stop. We We're here with go. James right now. It's not going. Is that going? Mm-mm. You see, going. time isn't moving, though. I know, you're right. But it says recording. These things, I think. We're recording. Okay, we're here with James now. So, James, our topic for today is, have you ever had a zodiac sign who you've had a change of heart on? Yes, James. Meaning, I thought the worst, and then... Yes, or, or vice versa. versa. Oh, yeah, I always end up... I've pretty much come to the conclusion that, unless it's a specific line of Virgo, I'm gonna get frustrated with it really fast. Virgos? What's a specific line of Virgo? Those that are like the you? same Virgo. Excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> Virgo, Virgo twos, I believe. Oh, relax. Okay. So Virgo twos. No other sign. You don't have any feelings towards any other signs. Pisces are generally well-rounded individuals, easy to get along with. Have you thought Smart, that you sophisticated, know? humble? Pisces? Yeah. I would agree. I don't Wait, think Pisces. that they're necessarily sophisticated. I don't know. If you're humble and not annoying, that's the most sophisticated. <laughs> and, and that annoying means open. How do you feel about cancers, around. James? Well, my, my dog JJ, <laughs> my uh, soulmate, he was a cancer. He was amazing. But as far as humans, still, still debating. All right. Still debating. All right. All right. <laughs> You haven't had a sign that you thought that you were gonna that you thought you hated and then ended up changing your heart on that? Or you only go to negative? <laughs> well I like to think of myself as mostly a realist and philosophical terms, you would call me a self proclaimed empath. So usually I'm <laughs> usually I'm starting, you know, at the bottom of people and working my way up. So. Okay, so who's at the lowest right now? The Virgos? No, no. no. Then who's at the lowest? Uh, You're probably an air sign, I'm gonna get this to me. You don't like Aquarians or something? Fire signs can be a little bit of some problems with. <laughs> they're, uh, <laughs> they're on my list. <laughs> no, just, just. We have a good mix of signs here, at least with who I've met at the store. Yeah, we, we used to be heavy in Sagittarius. Yeah. Because Nora, Carrie, and I. Well, when it's just when it's the four of us, like well, whoever I work with, which is yeah. usually just you, Katya, and Roxanne. It's we have one of every <laughs> element. We have three Scorpios still. Scott, that's a lot of Tony Scorpios. Tony and Elsa. Yeah, that is a lot. Scorpios. Of Scorpios. Scorpios. Scorpios are yeah. yeah. Scorpios are. <laughs> Scorpios, Scorpios are need intense. help, and they usually don't know they need it. You know? No, they know they need it. Scorpios, but they, they thrive. Scorpios off of are like the record scratch people. Like they go in a very straight line for a long time, then all of a sudden, right. <laughs> they go off into the ditch. <laughs> They're always like plotting. Yeah. Yeah. This is really bad for. Her. <laughs> oh, yeah. James is doing the. Uh, They're always. It's coming, it's coming from a fire sign, Roxy. You know? yeah. Yeah. Fire, fire signs can't really hold them accountable because they just they play by their own rules. And yeah, they're like their rules are chaos. The ways like, the only ways like describe <laughs> fire flame up and flame yeah, out. Yeah, exactly. The only ways like describe fire signs is like with like I think they would describe Leo as like ah, and then Aries are just ah. <laughs> yeah, they're and dreamers and too. And Sagittarians though. are like huh? <laughs> Aries are dreamers too though. Okay, so now we went from the ambient. This bad boy. All right, that was a bit of a tangent. Yeah, we got to finish this bad if boy. If this thing. is even recording, well, yeah, we we think you're recording, but the time on Spreaker's looking weird. But I, I paused it several times and left the building, so who knows? But let's hope. <laughs> and left the building because this is a really important conversation. This is a really important conversation. Yeah. Um, so yeah, James just said something. Said, "Oh, is your mom going to ground you and you find out that you're doing a podcast?" <laughs> and I said, I've never been crying. He said, oh, that explains a lot. So, I've been kid shamed. I think this is the sixth time this week. So, I'm, t- I'm tired of this. Yeah, I didn't come up with that term. That was Roxanne who said kid shamed. Oh, there goes All right, it's just Mia because Roxanne's on the phone. Um, we're going to sign off. James, you want to say you want to say some parting words? No? Star athlete of the store over here is saying no to the paparazzi today. All right. Have a good day, everybody.